Okay, uh, hello guys, Survivor here. Welcome to episode one of my Hidden Agenda series. Uh, holy shit, guys, this is cool as all fine fuck. I mean, literally. I mean, this is about the same guys that, that was behind the... Uh, this this was this is behind the same this is the same studio behind the behind one of my favorite games that I have played in terms of role playing. Uh, it was a great game. I did I did love it a lot. It was one of my favorite for series coming going back to walkthroughs and I loved every little thing. Now again, as I replayed until dawn, it it really didn't help all that much. I mean, don't get me wrong, I I love the game, but when, once you like go like and replay it, it didn't really make a lot of sense, but I hear a hidden agenda is actually a lot shorter, but for good reason because I hear like your choices, like whatever choice you make, actually does matter, like literally. So let's go and start our new game. Uh, let's do it. Uh, solo crime with friends. No. Solve the crime. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna solve the crime alone. In story mode, you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime. You play the story you want to see. Hell yeah. Oh, Supermassive does more things like this. Like, I'm literally using my fucking phone for this shit. Like, this is awesome. Ripple effect. Now, the spreading consequences of a single event or action. Every choice you make changes the future. Yo, I really want to play this shit so bad. Some effect relationships between characters. Yup, straight from Until Dawn, but hopefully a lot more effective. Others make waves that change everything. Yo, my man, choose wisely. Yo, my man, we going in, sucker. I hear this is actually a lot shorter, so I might make like five episodes at least from what I heard of how long this game is, so. So enjoy this little mini series I got going, guys. Man, I cannot believe I'm playing this. Fucking super massive. I love you guys. What the fuck, man? I'm pretty sure it's the same engine they used for un Until Dawn as well. Six weeks later. Matches a trapper. Yo, my man. I love interactive movies. Officer Becky Marnie, November. Yeah, just... First I'm ready. That's an easy. Textbook cut. Play. Vote for choices by moving your pointer inside the box. Oh shit. Wait, is my fucking PS4 for real? Confident, cautious. Let's take the front door, let's scope it out. Let's scope it out. It doesn't feel right. Let's scope it out. Choose wisely. Is my fucking PS4 looking acting like this? Scope it up. Sorry if the camera is looking weird, guys, because I'm trying to move my laptop away from the PS4 because apparently some it's I, I don't know. It's my, it's my Use my pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. Oh shit! I'm looking at the TV, boy.
Bass's finger. Find partner and investigate. I'm gonna find my partner. This is a choice that I, I, I always do with my man. What the fuck is this? Yo, man. Hands up, hands up now! T Tutorial. Move your pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. Ah, just like an until dawn, my boy. He's going. He's going to go for his gun. No sudden moves. He's going, he's going to go for his gun. He's going to go for his gun. No. Oh no, are, are, are you shaming me? Say partner or... Oh, oh, let's go. Oh my god, no! What the fuck, man? Tom! The hunt for the tracker came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the 3rd Precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on the story as it develops. Yo, this shit happened so quick. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. One such hero was Officer Tom Nelson, who died as he and his partner were making the arrest that brought us here today. Bruh. Jonathan Finn has confessed to every single one of these crimes. Why? Because he hopes you will see him as a man, a fellow human being. But this is only another one of the Trapper's clever ploys. We cannot trust this man. He has a deceitful, twisted, villainous mind, and nothing he says or does will ever change that. I therefore recommend punishment to the full extent of the law, no less than the death penalty. Thank you. Jonathan Finn, the crimes for which you have been found guilty. I hereby sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned. Hidden agenda. So we caught so we caught so we caught this bastard one now. Tap the logbook button on your app to read plot updates, view character biographies and check the major ripple events affecting your story. Five years later, boy. Yo, I'm pausing this shit, bruh. This shit is lit. Oh, man. I cannot believe the fucking shit I'm doing. Dude, we're not even halfway through our, uh, this first episode. The fuck? I am Ray Beaver, and this is The Crawl. Let's kick it off tonight with our very own homegrown villain, Johnny Finn, the Trapper. Sucker's been on death row for five whole years. Mr. Trapper's only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Phones are open. Code one, you're on. Hey, so, well, yeah, man. I mean, from my point of view, like, they can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. I mean, that's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. I hear you. But it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Marty for him. Promotion to homicide, metal, it works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? Turns out she's dirty than the rest of us down here in the hall. Mishandling evidence, improper conduct, who knows what else? Damn! Guess you never know who's one of the good ones. Oh, fuck 
fuck you two. I helped solve the trapper case. That's that's enough. another pair of John Doe's this weekend. We're quickly racking up red names on this board. I gotta tell you, unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct. Just put Marty the Magician on the case. There, she's got a knack for making things disappear. Son Detective Calvary, pretend you didn't just say that. You're dismissed. Okay, Bob, we have updated Detective Becky. we plan is her now. Since he got internal affairs eyes on me, he acts like some kind of moral crusader. At this point, I just tune him out. Seriously? You doing all right? Better anxious. The guy's a jerk. Not really. I mean, yeah. No, not really. I a crawl further up your ass. The world's first human-sized piece of talking excrement thinks I stole evidence. In different circumstances, we would be famous. Yikes! But hey, at least everyone knows he's a turd. Yeah. I would keep your distance until all this inquiry bullshit blows over. Don't throw IA any bones. Sarcastic restrained. Thanks, Mom. Wow, for real? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Detective Marnie? Over the word in my office? Yo, they need to make more games like this, though. Look, Marty, I'm not supposed to comment on ongoing internal affairs investigation, but if it starts affecting my best detective... I'm sorry, sir. Hey, don't apologize. You're a good guy. I have no doubt you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intentionally. The facts will speak for themselves. Thank you for believing in me, sir. You know, it sometimes feels like we don't have a choice in these things, but you do. You got me? Yes, of course. I don't want to believe that. But I know the trap was set for execution in 48 hours. It's a heavy load. You know when you send someone to death row, I don't want you to be distracted. Trouble, dismissive, looking forward to his execution. Still blame myself for Tom. Yeah, I still blame myself for Tom. I'd put him there again. Only next time, I'd make sure he didn't take my partner with him. Officer Nelson's death was not in vain. His death was my fault. My mess. Maybe once the trapper's pushing daisies, I can finally get a good night's sleep. Yeah, cause damn, like, that shit just... Bruh. I've got your message. I'm heading to see your client now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? It'd be kind of a tough nut to crack. Be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? I'm ready to hear it. I know how to get what I need. I'm ready to hear it. If he's actually got something to say, then I'm ready to hear it. I'll call you after? Thank you. Good afternoon. Hello. Your attorney says you have something you want to tell me. Sure, but you ain't gonna believe me. No one does. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. If I gotta go out, I ain't going out a liar. Then tell me the truth. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. Wasn't Adam Jones? Your window's closing fast. Wasn't it Adam Jones? Do you believe Adam Jones is the one responsible for these murders? Oh, I don't believe it. I know it. Who is he? Adam was my best friend at the orphanage. 
we killed those people. Curious. I'm listening. Adam doesn't exist. I'm listening. I'm listening. But you have to give me more to go on. Adam and I... We've seen some shit together. Way too close. Adam escaped. And I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. Then, a couple of years later... A couple of centuries. Hell if I know. Adam tracks me down online. He keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I wrap myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in heat. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage, the fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. No, well, that's what he called it. I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. The cops never found him? No. Well, you can go see for yourself. I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? No idea. How can we find him? Gotta start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not town. Uh, it's better if I draw you a map. Relax, sarcastic. Can I draw my treasure map for real, sucker? Sure you want to trust me with that? They say the pen is mightier than this one. Cute. Um, my memory ain't what it used to be. I think I'd have to get back out there. My feet on the ground. Got to sit. So, so, so say you're telling the truth. So let's say you're telling the truth. You don't know where he is now. Sounds to me like he's left you high and dry. I know what Adam's like. The kind of places he hangs around. We can go together, check it out. You gotta give me more than that, or you like it. The fuck? I never should have trusted him. Adam Jones should be in here, not me. Reassuring, maybe too late. I'll find Adam. I'll find him. If this is all true, I will make sure you don't die a liar, okay? I will look into Adam Jones. If he's out there, I'll find him. Shit, man. How do you think? I got a report back on Adam Jones. He was at Las Palmas the same time as my client, but he died in the same fire that closed it for good. Look, I know where you're going with this, and it's not going to work. There's no way they're letting Finn out. It's too flimsy. I know. That's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones, maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana? It's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. Not enough to overturn. Finn is not a good man. But if he dies, and you didn't do everything in your power to make sure he is the trapper, could you live with yourself? Defiance, Sephora, let's, let's take it to the judge. You're on your own. Let's take it to the judge. Yeah. You're right. Let's... Take it to Judge Banstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. Let's ask. I mean, we might. Uh, oh, no, guys. Rib ribble, thank you ribble, so much for so quickly. Well, oh, shit. You already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Flynn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? Are you buying his story? He's got, he's got the cool curious. It adds up. I have doubts. I have doubts, but we do have a record of an Adam Jones at the orphanage. Same time as Ben. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. That's quite a stretch, don't you think? 
Well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? I'll, I'll tell you, we won't, we won't know unless we try. I think he can help us. Uh, we won't know unless we try. I think he can help us. I'm, I'm not sure what the truth is, but I know it's out there, and we need time to find it. Apparently, you need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just long enough to lead the police to Adam Jones. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? Confident. He could help us, not my place of shoes. He could help us. I think that he could help us. If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release in the police custody, but only for three hours, no more. Thank you. Hey, Lana, you're not going to believe this. He actually went for it. Surprised the heck out of me. Wow. Nice work, Flissy. Don't call me that. Um, I'm going to head over to Homicide and let him know. Good call. And Felicity, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Shit. Can I pause? Ace in the hole. Hey, sucker. Oh, please wait. Not oh, for real. Alright. Holy shit, guys. This is just fucking insane. Actually, let's add a couple minutes left. 43 hours. Outrageous. Case against Finn was air goddamn tight. Nailed him with a hostage for Christ's sake. Had to be one hell of a tale for you to go and spin the judge's head around. Hostile, I'm just doing my job. A man is about to die. Just doing my job, yeah. I'm sorry to spring this on you. We all want the same thing. A man is about to be put to death and we need to make sure he deserves it. Oh, Jonathan Finn deserves it. Of that I am sure. Who exactly was... Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? I'm optimistic. There's something there just covering every possibility. Uh, there's something there. Uh, just covering every possibility. I'm just covering every possibility. And Judge wants this thing airtight. Double airtight. He's granting a temporary release into police custody to help find Adam Jones. Finn tells me Ruminski had a secret room at the orphanage. Called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? I remember something like that. I didn't come out the report. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so, when you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I don't, I don't think so. So, no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed on the scene, the open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Not just hold on a goddamn second. Uh, okay. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and end episode one right here, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, like the video if y'all enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Comment below what y'all think. And if any of y'all are new to the channel and y'all want to see more, be sure to subscribe for more anything. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see y'all in episode two. Because this shit is about to get litty. <laughs> okay, I'm being way too extra. But... Again, guys, I'm really excited for this because, again, it's too super massive. I, I, I throw their on, Until Dawn game and their new M Impatient game coming out, which is set in the same u universe as Until Dawn in 1952, which played a bit of a minor role in the Until Dawn game. I actually cannot wait for, for, for that. Uh, but, again, hit, hit an agenda. Hope episode 1. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like the video, if y'all enjoyed, subscribe. If y'all want to see more, comment below, which I'll thank. If you all new to the channel, I'll see more. Be sure to subscribe for more. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in episode 2. Survivor out.